All right, hi guys, I'm Tracy and welcome to today's video. So I really been wanting to share my excitement and um, I guess I've been really into these type of brushes and I just received a few more. So I thought it would be a good time to share my, I guess my weasel brush collection namely you know the smaller ones that i use for concealer i'm not going to talk about the foundation ones so uh, for those of you a little bit less familiar with um, these types of brushes the um, type of hair i'm going to be talking about is considered weasel hair so weasel hair is a lot coarser and it's really it's, it's got that it's, it's firm you know it's not gonna uh, it's not going to fluff up really. I mean, none of mine do. And yeah, not, I, I guess you can kind of compare horse hair to it, but I do think for the purpose of concealer, this type of brush is like by far my favorite. And I'll explain the reasons why. You can also get a foundation brush with this type of hair. And I, I do like doing my foundation with these type of brushes. They just, they tend to leave streaks and they tend to apply your foundation a little bit more sheer. So, you know, if you do want a sheer, you know, application, you probably will like a brush like this for foundation, but we're gonna pretty much just focus on the concealer brushes. They're, I think these are all, except for one, eye brushes, but I only use them for concealer. So I'll start out with the one I've had the longest because you guys, if you've been following me, you've heard me talk about this brush a lot. And that is the Chikuhoda Artist 12-2. It's made of um, weasel and pine squirrel hair. So you have that firmness from the weasel hair, but you also have the soft silkiness of the, the squirrel hair. So I just, I really like doing my concealer, especially around the eye area because, you know, the skin there is so... Uh, fragile you know I don't like using something like too firm and this has been working great especially to get like under the eyebrow in the corner of your eye even little areas like right here I'm just like so in love with this brush for that purpose now um, you're not supposed to use squirrel hair for liquids or creams but I'm comfortable recommending this brush for that because I've been using this brush for concealer for some time, at least a year, and I've washed it many, many times and it's in great shape. I don't feel like it's taken too much of a beating. So I don't know, I'm just really enjoying this brush. Now let me show you one that is similar, but this is brand new to my collection. I just got this yesterday and I've just used it once and I really, really like it for concealer. And that's the uh, Chikohoto Artist 12-3. So it's the same style as the 12-2, it's just this is only weasel hair. And I want to give you guys the pricing because with the exchange rate right now, they're actually, this one is going for $34. And I think that's just a steal. These type of hairs tend to be more expensive. Uh, not all brands will use this type of material, but Chikuhoto, and I think Chikuhoto and Akuhoto um, do these weasel hair brushes really, really nicely. Okay, and then another one that uh, is fairly recent to my collection is the Chikuhoto RS8. And so this one looks very similar to the 12-3. It's a little bit smaller. And again, it's it's 100% weasel hair. Yeah, they kind of look like a different color. Huh. And again, I like this for concealer, especially the eye area. And with the comparing like the mix versus the pure weasel hair, you're just going to get less flexibility. See, this one is pretty flexible, whereas this one isn't. It's just a matter of preference, but I like both of them. Another um, really good reason to do your concealer with a brush like this, it takes very little product. I mean, I'm using a fraction of the amount of concealer that I usually do. You know, if you use a, you know, a denser brush like this, it is gonna eat up a lot of your product. But this is how I did my concealer for, for a long time, kind of like a brush like this. 
but um, yeah, I use also a palette and I put my concealer there and then I just kind of pat it like that. And you really just need like the tiniest amount. Maybe I'll... So here, this is actually leftover from today and I'll just take kind of like the leftover there. I'll show you how I use this one around the eye. Um, also, like if you're cleaning up your eyeshadow, these brushes are amazing for that. See how it did that? Like if you went a little overboard with the eyeshadow on the bottom, this will kind of clean it up and you can kind of get that wing shape versus this side. And I just love doing that. I think it really gives your eye look a very polished look. It just, I think it makes, it makes your eyeshadow like look better, I think. Okay, so those are the larger of the ones I'm going to be talking about today. And then let me talk about one that they consider Kolinsky. And this is a Hakuhoto brush. It's the B539. And this is made of Kolinsky hair. So Kolinsky is a type of weasel. But, you know, if you are considering getting a brush with, you know, Kolinsky hair, you should get it sooner than later because... Um, China is no longer able to export this type of hair. So the Japanese brush makers, you know, they have what they have and when that's gone, it's gone. So it's very sad, but yeah, this brush will, I'm not sure if they're going to continue making it or, you know, they're going to make it with weasel hair or just, you know, discontinue it. But this is the brush that really just, I don't know, really captivated me and the reason I like this one a little bit more than the others is like just how thin it is. I mean, see how fine the tip is? It it doesn't take up much product at all. It's very precise and I just love it. This is the um, Chikohoto Artist RS9, just, just for comparison. But yeah, this the Hakuhoto is the thinnest as far as like the point, the most tapered, I guess. Okay, and then I guess we'll talk about the smaller ones. And this is the Chikohoto RS9. It's the, I guess it, you would say it's the smallest of this type of brush that I have. And again, it works great for the same purpose. Because it's so small, you can even maybe do, like sometimes I highlight with concealer down here. You know, it's got, just it's just so small. It's just, I love it. And this is like a smaller version of the RS8 right there. All right, now just a couple more. And this one is a new one I just got from my last CD Japan order. So I've used it once today and I love it. It's just, <laughs> I love all of them except for one. I'll get to that in a second. But because this one is so fine, it, it again uses a, a very small amount of product and I like that angle so when I was doing it on the under eye area it really helped to have that angle and it was also really good for doing cleaning up your brows doing this area yeah I'm really impressed with this I've been eyeing this for some time and I finally went ahead and got it and this is a kind of unusual shape especially for this type of hair so yeah, I can't think of another company that does this type of brush with the angle. So I really wanted to share that with you guys. Highly recommend this one. This one's probably a little bit easier to get. Also price-wise, it's like... Let me just make sure I got that right. It's $30 on CD Japan because of the exchange rate. So that's a steal. It's 4,500 yen. So um, also the yen, the value of the yen went up a little bit today. So I'm not sure if that's a sign of things to come or not. So, you know, right now, because the U.S. dollar is so much stronger than the yen, it's like getting 
like 30% off, maybe even like 40% off because the yen is now trading at 141 to a dollar. It was actually 150 to a dollar, which I believe is a record for the past like 24 years or something. It's usually around 110 to a dollar. So it's a, a significant difference right now. And I, yeah, I love this one. This one is, I think it's been out for a little bit, but anyhow, highly recommend this one. And then this one, I'm a little unsure of. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be using this for concealer. It's the Chikuhoto RS6. So it's a little bit, it's smaller than the Artist 12-2, but it's made of the same type of hair. This is a weasel and pine squirrel mix brush. So these have the same hair. And this is just smaller, but I just kind of, just from you can tell looking at it, this one is thicker. So this brush it absorbed a lot of product. So um, I'm not sure if this is going to make the best concealer brush, and I'll probably end up using it for eyeshadow or eyeliner, like doing like this. But yeah, this is the only one that I feel is probably not good for concealer. But it's still a beautiful brush, and I was hoping it would perform like the 12-2 just like a smaller version but there's something about this that really soaks up product and I think it's because the very tip of the brush is kind of denser whereas the 12-2 is very fine so it's going to pick up you know a very small amount of product so yeah that is the RS6 so of all the brushes that I'm gonna that I've shared today, this is the only one that I feel like didn't work for for concealer. And yeah, that's gonna do it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you all next time. Bye.